Okay, so we're just gonna jump right in. Um, been struggling with this guy a little bit. Sick. It's not learning him that's difficult. It's dodging that stupid attack after he hits that button. Why am I not locking on? Fuck you. I'm trash. Being far away. I died last time. Yep, as you can see. Too slow. That's why. Nope. That's sword dance. What the earth? This 
takes my force with him. I think I'll love the beginning of the show, but good practice. Ooh, that actually hit. Got him! Fourth attempt, holy crap. That was very difficult. Man. <sighs> Alright. He's finally down.
All in iron. Back to sleep with you. That was hard. First really difficult battle I've had so far. I mean, the Flam Prince was difficult, but that's because I didn't even notice his level. Okay. Back to the hideout. That's not the hideout. She was building a ship. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. 770 out of 850. All done. It's gonna be a while. But I can finally stop stressing about that. That fight is done. care about this yet. Just want the marker off the screen. Replenish potions. Business or pleasure. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Guys. So, what'd it be? Nothing I can do, really. I mean... Diamond sword. Where the hell did that come from? Something I can craft? It is? Great worm bone. Okay. I'm gonna need a new hunt for that, I'm sure. Okay, well. Anything else? Do. Anything else in the area? Notes and shit. This way. He cracked the crystal too. About the other day, I'll have you know I ain't ever shed a tear in front of no one, not even my mother, and you won't soon catch me doing doing the like again. So to please your lordship, we can both forget about the whole damn thing. The sit I chose to follow all them years ago is gone, and there ain't no dragging him back from the depth of whatever hell he's talked his way into. But his legacy that lives on in you and everyone else here in the hideaway sure as the sky is blue at least i think it's still blue and as long as it is i'll be right here where you can count on me fuck yeah gotta love auto good guy that auto and this is where we can see the chalice for sure right yeah there it is it's its goblet oh okay whatever Well, quest time. Because I don't want to talk to her. Like, ever. This nothing. Well, that's bullshit.
Oh shit. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Come on. There you go. This is level 30. Like this. We'd be lucky. Really? It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, yeah. Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Yep. Twenty reputation. Eight hundred. Well, kill, I'm going I think. to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're yeah. lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boclad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fear if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Go. The more experience I can gain, the I'm not sure I trust so. those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. You've got guests. These must be our bandits. Oh shit! See it again. Didn't see the big guy. Let's go Titan for a second. Let's get rid of that one. Not a nice dodge. Oh, 
fuck that up. Mark four. Okay, let's uh, go take care of the ads. I don't need healing and shit. There we go. This slows down time, so. I should use my abilities a little more often. Instead of just on breaks. He's good enough. Twenty experience. That's them dealt with. Now, where's this nice that card? Hey. We found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found I'm gonna have to fight them now. Leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? That's got a point. Oh, I'll do it anyways. Too much experience in side quests. Another 500 on top of the 750. And why right? Like, even if I don't use it this game, now that I know there's a new game plus, I'll use it. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Look around oh, for a chest on the other side. Oh, an item. Hmm. Really? Nothing? Alright. What timer? Oh yeah, it doesn't show me when I'm not live. So what we got? Try not to make these videos too long for you guys.
That's beautiful. So this is the Mechis. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bit to win oh, their shit. power. The final battle took place oh, here. At these falls. Or so the legend goes. This Leviathan if anyone ever game? manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious. And punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. They want nothing. There's another crystal. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire he should seriously just ditch the empire. Needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh.
Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! Really? You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire. Forgive me. He should just go like this full on Bahama. Is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> hmm. Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your yep. impure blood stain you should kill her. Throne. What do you know of my blood? No, it's better that he doesn't because I want to. Markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Should have known better. Hundred and forty experience. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. Hmm, new area, yeah, we gotta make sure to look around. For the siege to end. Something's gonna happen down here anyways, so we'll be coming back. Good. Likely.
What do you guys think is a good, um, like, no refugees. time and for an episode? For 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour? If you don't mind, let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll modify it a bit. See what we can do. Make you guys happy. Enemies. Two ten. Ooh. We're about to get another level. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Hurry, man. I must leave for the Bloody crimson find a finer array this side oh. of the strait many thanks Damn. just to own it I know it's not as good as what I'm using but uh, from what I've heard Out of my sight, the rules kind of change in new game plus so that stuff will become relevant again from across the water come one come all feast your eyes good sir can i interest you in uh... how much for a measly crust of bread you won't find any cheaper not nowadays but you're more than welcome to look Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the crystalline dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. He gives up way Still too easy. Good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. If we just killed everyone. I mean the guards. Find anything of this quality in Twinside. Not the people. Oh. Uh. There you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. He's just heard over the pack. It's betrayed his pass. It's gone. Oh, shit. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? Oh, absolutely. It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. 
You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. And the other one. Red chocobo. As dark as this story is, I didn't think we'd get a white chocobo. Like a black chocobo? That'd have been cool. But Ambrosia's good, so. Oh, shit. Oh, that was easy. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two birder to the Crystalline Dominion. What Take the it or leave fuck? it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait, just don't go, El. He's been made. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Why? Lady Karen did kind of. Sort of. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. <laughs> Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little bairn could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then... We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. We look like fucking traders. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I Thank suppose you. that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. I'm skip. Oh, she's gonna actually explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity. Leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all. And two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive.
Yeah, another seal. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. So I guess we'll end our uh, first episode there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll have another episode up soon. See you later.